If you think that you're onto something with your B2B tech firm and the majority of your employees are still in Europe, but you believe that the US market has some huge revenue for you, then you'll want to watch this video on how to build your international growth engine. As a former multi-startup founder myself, I've been in your shoes and I understand the pragmatism and the need for uh, results, uh, at least the high, high likelihood of results to come out of whatever it is that you do and you spend your money on. I'm excited to share with you today a proven roadmap that will guide your startup towards international market success. My name is Chris Mott and I'm the CEO of Global Venture Cloud. For a decade, we've been working with top European founders and their teams of between 10 and 1,000 employees to grow their business while they manage their unit economics and become leaders in their category. And today I'm going to share the secrets of successful international growth for B2B startups and scale-ups from our perspective. Before we dive in, let's clarify who will benefit most from today's insights. If you're a B2B scale-up leader eager to become a category leader, uh, or your top market segments are eluding you and you're wanting to uh, engage those flagship companies in those markets, uh, if you're an early stage or seed stage founder and you're looking to dip your toe into a market before fully investing in your international expansion, or if you're an investor and you've got a portfolio which you're trying to figure out how to manage in terms of where to double down and uh, which companies can go from good to great or can go from flat to breakthrough, then you're in the right place. The right go-to-market will help you to improve customer engagement, craft your positioning of your, your product, shorten your sales cycles, increase your deal sizes, and basically help your team work more effectively. So let's just say at least 30% more productively. It's especially valuable for companies with existing products aiming to enter new markets and founders who want to maximize their shareholder value and their potential exits down the road. So this idea of taking a motion and engaging the market and getting multiple birds with one stone, revenue, partnerships, uh, positioning for exits, shareholder value, all these things. You may have a thriving business in Europe, but you want to attract more customers from the US, or you might have a few US clients but need to understand how to expand and acquire more of them. Let me share some real life case studies. So Qgo, a natural language processing company, they leveraged their existing quals in Europe to basically engage exactly those same three vertical industries in the US, and they were able to be successful within five months, landing a half a million dollars in ARR. Meanwhile, Lizetti, an IoT solution provider out of Berlin, became the first app on Cisco's router for industrial solutions, which led to remarkable success using Cisco they were able to acquire their first customer, Verizon, in the US. Another standout example from the Netherlands is Hippo, a company specializing in content management, and they were able to land Disney Interactive for a six-digit deal and to expand Fidelity, also a six-digit deal, but expand that deal by 50% using this approach. Each of these companies had limited US presence, but they still achieved the potential of their international growth because they were backed by a well-crafted go-to-market strategy. And I want you to remember this. So let's dive into the key steps of a go-to-market discovery process. Step number one, I call it unpack and validate. So here's how it works. We conduct an online assessment. Um, meanwhile, we build a target list with roles so that we can take some of the things that we've learned from our online assessment, how an executive in this other market would perceive you or the gaps or or consider that you don't look you know, completely um, understood or uh, there's some trust issues. Uh, next, we'll pull together discovery questions. So these are some of the assumptions that you need to test in order to be sure that as you're selling, uh, you're able to do so in the same motions as you're doing with your European clients. We'll test those assumptions with five to 10 companies. Uh, these are either be in our network or we'll find people in those senior executive roles who are in your wheelhouse. We'll then use the insights from these interactions to build out a useful video for 
uh, your, um, your company. And that'll be something that will typically work with the founders or senior management person, basically the knowledge workers of the company or the people that understand the most and are, so, are, are required to help get those, those strategic deals across the goal line. And then we'll begin to configure, um, uh, prepare some cold outreach, um, not necessarily starting that yet, but using a referral network that can help to um, uh, make that easier. So you're, you're not going out to the 500 companies yet, but you are building the stuff and you're gonna go into this next stage to codify some things. So why is this so, so important? Well, Hugo was able to capitalize on their strong client base and they basically were able to win the US market, get themselves on the radar for an exit and uh, they became the sort of the, the, the crown jewel in the acquiring company's uh, roadmap going forward. They successfully refocused their, their messaging uh, while targeting American players within their existing industries and engaged companies across three vertical markets. And they were able to achieve this half a million dollars in ARR in just five months. Uh, you might be wondering whether we have a network in your industry or how to create an impact, uh, impactful video sales letter that addresses these issues. Well, we've got you covered in our extensive library of materials on go to market in our global venture cloud. Uh, this is our online learning platform and you can just contact us. We can demo it for you or we can get started. So if you've successfully completed step one, it's not about scaling yet, but it is about preparing to go big. So now you're codifying, you're creating your foundational sales copy, um, you're building out the scaffolding, uh, landing pages, calendaring, forms, the, getting the CRM tuned up a bit. Uh, we're publishing a growth playbook. This is a growth playbook that's comprehensive. It's usually about 90 pages long, and it's the thing which each one of your team members, be they uh, you know, sales uh, or BD um, or partners or marketing, any of these folks are gonna be able to use this document to be more in sync with the work that they're doing. So it's crucial to understand the nuances of different markets. And here you've adapted your messaging and you've codified it. So this is now going to be something which your entire team can leverage without having to drag you into it. So uh, Azeti, uh, this uh, Berlin case, we focused there on just a finite number of companies. It was 25 potential partners for them in the US. So that was Microsoft, Oracle, SAP, um, Intel, Cisco, and others, ones that would help move the needle and get them into the market. Well, one of the speakers that we'd had at a prior event uh, was from Cisco. He was an SVP in the business looking at um, next gen solutions and he became their advocate. Uh, we were able to go out to dinner with him and the CEO, get the evangelism that we were looking for uh, in order to navigate that organization. And eventually we had built out two growth playbooks, one for the, the startup and the other one for Cisco. Uh, to be used by the thousand uh, sales engineers that they've got. This battle card and the internal uh, video tools gave Cisco the confidence to open up their most prized accounts. Because you know, any, anyone that's you know, done this work, you know how hard it is to get sales uh, execs in a partner company to, um, to trust people they don't know. So uh, we also saw how an exclusive partner contract that we were able to close with Cisco enabled funding to pour into the company with little to, little to no effort. You might think that you aren't ready to engage the, the top market segments, but that's what we're here for. Uh, we can access senior executives from our network. Uh, we can use people that have experience managing sales and positioning products or fundraising. Um, and we can do that with, um, you know, with minimal time and effort. So stop bouncing off the market or waiting to be perfect, and as a result, missing the market window. Step three is all about scale. Uh, these first two stages you go through and you become more fit for funding, more fit for revenue, and ready to scale across more geographies. And what we'll be managing at that point will be the content roadmap. Is it outbound campaigning that we continue? Do we build up, uh, add more uh, junior BDRs at the top of the funnel? Uh, more sales managers, or is it a partner strategy? All of that stuff begins to build out based on this kernel um, and this content roadmap full of micro videos or blogs or other case studies, various things that we're gonna be able to help you uh, with. That enables you to begin ramping up using your CRM with a rich set of content that's gonna be compelling. So this is going to lead you to uh, five plus meetings, new meetings per week for your for your team. This again depends on how you want to scale it out afterwards. 
and uh, tuning of sales scripts continuously. Uh, so we're working with uh, uh, pumping out more videos that can be leveraged and are very practical. Uh, we're tuning the growth playbook, the email cadences, the scripts. Uh, we're starting the inbound process. So now you're actually going and making some purchases online, spending some money on ad buy, but um, not doing that until you've got your, your, your engine working. So when the economics make sense and you're spending a dollar and getting three back, that's when we're going to really want to, to ramp up. So by testing the market, you'll have the least friction and be on your way towards compounded growth. Uh, I've created an amazing video about ROI and compounding just last month. And if you reach out, then I'm happy to share that with you. Gravity R&D built a thriving business with their customers across the globe. So another example here. More importantly, they built credibility with their partners and eventually led to one of their partners, an Israeli NASDAQ company, uh, acquiring them. And uh, they were acquired uh, for their clients, for their knowledge, and um, uh, for their talent. Their head of business development, who had been leading the team, the growth team, for more than five years, he realized that he needed a boost to get the company to another level. So he spoke with the CEO and the head of products he took time to understand the methodology, and then he co-led the project that led to a great outcome, an exit after 13 years of being in the market. We believe that uh, video is underused in B2B sales, and the only way to get a perfect BSL is to take time and to see the reaction of business executives to the messaging that you're bringing to the market. Uh, we also believe that with generative AI, there's a boatload of new tools, and there's a lot more enriched understanding that your clients can have from you uh, by querying these videos that you make and uh, by answering the questions that they have in those videos. So we think that, that things are truly gonna be interesting the next year or two in terms of ChatGPT or other AI services, microservices. So that's what we do. We create a small competent team. We put pressure on the market. We bring the feedback uh, to your uh, individual functions. They can adapt what they're doing with some guide rails so things don't spin out of control. We codify everything into that growth playbook and we start bringing those unique usable insights uh, through video that brings you credibility with your buyers. Once the video is codified and it's supported by a the funnel scaffolding like landing pages, email daisy chains and the CRM tuning, you let us bring your message out to the top 500 or more accounts in the world. This is where Venture Cloud shines, since you can be passive or actively involved in that stage, but we've codified stuff for you and that growth engine is, you know, the, 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 the guns are pointed in the right direction. They're not three degrees off to the left. Um, and uh, you're able to then uh, offload a lot of the work that you've got, which is explaining things to people uh, because we've codified all of that in the videos. Now, Venture Cloud not only puts the tools in one place to ensure your team uh, gets what they need and that you can man maintain visibility and control over your project, um, but we also help uh, the team to explore AI services that help make them 30% more productive. So we'll help them look at what types of services, either for making the videos or uh, rejiggering the, uh, the email cadences or building out target lists. These are all things that we um, can share plugins for. So now that we've covered the essential steps of go-to-market discovery, let's talk about how you can actually start building an international growth engine. So as a startup founder, you've got a couple of options. You can do it yourself. Uh, that includes uh, maybe having your existing team members take over or you're uh, you know, hiring someone uh, internally for it. Or you can partner with an ind industry expert like us, which you can flip off and on at will and um, let us not disrupt your team and take patterns that have worked uh, with companies that we've worked with in the past and, and reuse the stuff that's good. So companies that do this themselves, often, as you can imagine, it takes them more time. Uh, one former client CEO recently mentioned that without our services, they would have missed 80% of the signals as they were entering the U.S. market. Um, so he, he was um, very, very positive about it. And if you've tried this, you'll recognize the benefit of working with a team like ours that's been through the cycles. So, uh, you know, we've, we've helped over 300 companies over the years to grow and to leverage the combined experience of this, uh, this approach. Sometimes these companies have been five or 10 people and a dog. Uh, 
Uh, in other cases, they've been a thousand employees and they've been trying to get their horizontal BD function uh, working better for a globally distributed team. So these projects, they always begin with a discovery project resulting in your own growth engine becoming tailored precisely for your, your global markets. And with the option to expand into fundraising, uh, getting using the milestones to uh, lever that and start doing team recruitment to optimize your team. This all leads to exits and super results for the founders and investors. Global Venture Cloud is a network of senior corporate executives, startup founders, VCs and industry experts that are sharing knowledge and experience at our gatherings and on our platform around Europe and in the US. Now, if you're a startup founder and you need to grow, you understand that the need for global expansion requires laser focus. Um, an international go-to-market is the right thing to go after, and we are here to help you with a decade of expertise, industry insights, tools, knowledge, and support on your way towards your exit or of going really huge. So. <clears throat> Build an amazing SaaS, AI, or deep tech business while keeping pressure on your niche and sales funnel. Get out of the mini markets and underperformance using an approach that's been um, using an approach that you're having to sort of in invent or you're, you're leaning on, on someone that may or may not be there uh, later to help you retain that knowledge. And uh, let's use an approach that's been used by multiple companies and has created uh, hundreds of millions of dollars of value for startups and, and founders over the last decade. We'll show you how our process is designed to help you achieve your revenue goals faster, learn from successes and failures, remain capital efficient, and connect with the clients, talent, partners, and knowledge of a vetted network. If you're ready to start and experience the power of a well-crafted go-to-market strategy, then book a demo with us right now. The earlier you adopt an effective go-to-market strategy, the more opportunities that you'll have. Take action to unlock your full international growth potential. I urge you not to miss this incredible opportunity uh, to book a demo and to join the league of successful international scale-ups who succeeded. Together, we'll get on the path to extraordinary growth and global expansion. Remember that with a well-crafted go-to-market discovery strategy, you will unlock new markets, you'll build better client relationships, you'll see more revenue, and you'll take your business to unprecedented heights. I look forward to connecting with you. And if you have any questions whatsoever or want to know more, then uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.